Role of Scientific Mindset in Nation Building. PhD in Psychology from IIT Kanpur in 2006 and now working as professor at Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. Yes, we are talking about our guest today, Professor Azizuddin Khan in our chat show, Hustle with Hug, Dignified and Graceful. He has around 75 publications, three books and edited chapters around 10. So welcome, sir. So, sir, you want to say a few words about yourself before we get into overall discussion? Uh, nothing much, but uh, I'd like to thank you and especially that hustle with Huck. And uh, I'm happy to be part of this show today. And um, I'll be happy to answer your question. So you, you may begin. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. So directly throwing a question on you. So, sir, you are a researcher as well as a distinguished author and a professor at a premier institute and a lot of academic like academic history to you. So what do you feel about the term scientific mindset? Okay, so uh, nowadays this term is uh, quite uh, popular, but when it comes to understanding about scientific temperament, uh, not many uh, clarity is there. Not much clarity is there. Uh, scientific temperament means you have to have a, a mental set where you have to question each and everything uh, which should be based on our rational faculty. Uh, okay. It doesn't uh, deny that you cannot have faith, but faith is a separate thing. Scientific temperament denotes that uh, you have to have objective observation, you have mm -hmm. to be specific, and you have to have uh, explanation for whatever observation you are observing. Sometimes, uh, like uh, since science is evolving, uh, there are gray areas, but those gray areas uh, do not deny having objective perception. Uh, and th what you said is very important, sir, objective perception, because nowadays, even in the industry and all, we talk about being objective rather than being getting too much into subjective stuff. And that helps us in moving towards the goal. And I'm, thanks for bringing that term, sir. So the, another question related to this, in recent time, what do you feel about uh, how youngsters are developing this uh, uh, into this mindset or what you as a professor or academy can do to develop this into as a mindset into youngsters and students? Yeah, thanks for this question. Actually, this is very important, uh, especially for our younger generation. Uh, unlike others, I feel that younger generation is more objective and having uh, kind of scientific temperament. But sometimes uh, they may go astray just because we are the product of our society, and mm -hmm. uh, if society and we basically represent our society's norm and customs. So yeah. first of all, scientific temperament means that uh, whatever uh, that uh, that uh, societal uh, perception is about everything. Mm -hmm. our our subjectivity because we are the kind of representation of our society and there mm -hmm. are different kind of societies in india there is a saying in hindi that uh, kos par pani badle char kos pe bani it means there is so much diversity and uh, scientific temperament uh, basically uh, does not believe in that there can be multiple uh, uh, reality or multiple facts. Okay. So okay. since diverse, we are having a society which is quite diverse, it becomes quite important to have kind of scientific temperament in order to progress, whether individual development or mm -hmm. a nation's building. Scientific temperament mm -hmm. is quite important. If you see history, uh, like mm -hmm. around uh, 26 civilizations have been uh, kind of came into existence and then they disappeared. Okay. All of them, mm -hmm. there, there was one thing common and it was that the civilization who, which adheres scientific temperament progresses and dominates the world. It is okay. not just, it is not the religion, it is not the culture, mm -hmm. but it is the scientific mm -hmm. temperament 
which uh, makes us to make more progress and mm -hmm. have a better life and better nation building okay so uh, you are emphasizing a point where role of society is as critical as the role of academic institution in inculcating this behavior that that was exactly my next question sir so how important is the role of scientific mindset in nation building and before i not before i complete my question i was reading through the documentation from white house and also documentation from archive documentation from indian library where many leaders at some point of time has emphasized on scientific research innovation but somehow it hasn't percolated as as to younger generation on seeing scientific mindset as related to nation building actually uh, like forget about even uh, this uh, white house our constitution mm -hmm. enshrined mm -hmm. this objectivity to like mm -hmm. in our uh, fundamental uh, duties that mm -hmm. one should strive to have scientific temperament uh, because our uh, that kind of forefathers they have uh, rightly recognized that until unless we are not uh, progressing or we are not behaving in a scientific manner progress will not be there if you see a uh, current world those countries who are progressing in a scientific manner those who are having scientific temperament they are basically mm -hmm. progressing so they are into you know, that artificial intelligence they are into mm -hmm. uh, 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 like say different kind of technology uh, and they are dominating the whole world uh, we are talking in english it is because uh, those countries who are who mm -hmm. are having scientific temperament at that specific moment in time they were speaking mm -hmm. uh, english and due to this scientific temperament the english mm -hmm. language became quite prevalent throughout the world once mm -hmm. upon a time same situation was for the persian and arabic especially mm -hmm. uh, like say medieval period the scientific language was uh, english oh sorry arabic why it is why it was the case because that time uh, arabic word was uh, uh, progressing on the basis of science and technology so be it Uh, like you can name any technology they started mm -hmm. algebra mm -hmm. was started by them or yes. you can go back even ancient period when india was mm -hmm. having scientific temperament and we uh, uh, let's say discovered or you can say uh, develop uh, or you can say basically discovery is uh, that mm -hmm. zero we gave zero. them like uh, ancient india basically propounded the idea about astronomy which is still yes. correct so mm -hmm. it was because they were progressing on the basis of or taking into account of scientific temperament objectivity oh, wow. uh, they were not uh, uh, like say progressing on the basis of subjectivity or cultural factor so uh, science or scientific temperament is a unifying factor so whether mm -hmm. person sitting in mumbai or mm -hmm. manhattan they mm -hmm. will be having a similar platform they can mm -hmm. interact they can talk without any prejudice if somebody is having scientific temperament so scientific endeavor is a kind of collective uh, in, uh, activity or co collective effort no nation mm -hmm. can uh, claim that science is uh, its property it's a uh, property of humanity as such so basically if you are scientific mindset driven by scientific mindset if you are objective you can not only dominate but you can also unify and you can also be a driving force in the development as you just highlighted with different culture from the past and from today exactly and one okay. thing i would like to highlight there is no mm -hmm. conflict between science and religion or okay. culture okay when you see at superficial level it looks like okay mm -hmm. they are talking two different domains but that mm -hmm. is not true you can take any uh, religious book they talk in, mm -hmm. in terms of like say they they basically uh, recommend having mm -hmm. scientific temperament there is a explanation for each and everything this is very Even important sir religion. this line yeah. this line what you said that science and religion and culture are not at conflict is a very important line so so this brought to one of the 
Oh, so the last question a parent asked me that <laughs> uh his kid is just getting into iit so what iit does to inculcate positive attitude and the attitude of commitment so that when he go outside to the uh into the professional world he remains as committed because there the competition is very cut through in the outside world and every person is competing actually uh, iits uh, iit bombay and other iits they provide mm-hmm. an environment where mm-hmm. you can uh basically strive to be- become anything and you'll you'll become like that so it 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 provides opportunity it provides infrastructure it provides mm-hmm. uh, all the facilities uh, which which is uh, which are required for uh, complete or holistic development so it uh, is uh, basically any it it doesn't say that you ha- you have to become this or that it gives okay. freedom and mm-hmm. it, uh, that a student has to choose his or her okay. own path so okay. that mm-hmm. way it is very encouraging it is very constructive in the sense that uh, suppose uh, somebody is after joining it somebody becomes interest become interested in uh, say uh, theater so okay. I, mm-hmm. it provides that kind of facility and opportunity to try oh, your wow. uh, luck over there as well so basically it's- it they provides an environment they provides a facility it's now on the individual to to utilize it for their growth in in the area of their interest exactly exactly okay so uh, you highlighted very few important points that how scientific mindset would uh, is driving current technologies how it will drive future and how important it had been the past of the civilization so as we are coming to the end of this chat show do you have few final words on the topic or you just want to say to our viewers see i would suggest that uh, without scientific temperament there will be no progress either at individual level or society level mm-hmm. or at nation uh, uh, building level so mm-hmm. every individual should strive to be objective to be mm-hmm. uh, uh, like assess each and everything on the scientific basis actually in some corner mm-hmm. scientific te- uh, temperament is considered as something which is kind of uh, against uh, religion or culture which i have already mm-hmm. mentioned that is not the yes. case it is mm-hmm. uh, unifying force rather than dividing uh, uh, divisive force thank you sir thanks for taking out your time sir and thanks for joining us